Good morning. It is a beautiful day. The sun is out. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our and this adventures. is our adventures. We are headed to Angel View Tree. I think that's what it's called. Angel Oak. Angel Oak. I think that's what it is. The sun is out. And I think I'm going to end up being hot today. It said that it was supposed to be like 62, but I think I'm afraid with the sun I may get warm. So, all right, let's head on. waiting on the gate to open. It opens at nine, so I wanted to be one of the first people because I've seen like so many pictures and stuff with tons of people in it. So I wanted to kind of get the gist of it without all that. That was a beautiful tree. Uh, didn't take us long just to take pictures and stuff because we just wanted to see it. That one's really pretty. You have to, they have like protective around it and everything because they're saying this tree, they estimate it to be four to 500 years old and it's 65 and a half foot tall and the longest branch was like 128 feet. But it's really pretty. We got some great photos. We're gonna go find some breakfast and then I don't know what we're gonna do. All right, we're trying this place. It's called the Early Bird. It's a breakfast place and we're parking across the street and gonna have to run across a busy highway because there is no parking places. I'm talking, it's just jam packed in there. And it's a Monday during the week. I guess it's a good place. We're gonna try. We're fixing to play Frogger. Yep. We're gonna play Frogger. For you that are not from the 80s. But we don't get it's three lives. It's a video lives. game. <laughs> yeah, we don't get three lives. <laughs> <laughs> Go back and try to see if we can go to Fort Sumter before 
our dinner tonight. Um, got to play Frogger again. Charleston, South Carolina Port City was founded in 1670, originally known as Charlestown after King Charles. It defined by its cobblestone streets, horse-drawn carriages, and pastel Annabelle homes, particularly in the elegant French quarters and battery districts. The Battery and Promenade and Waterfront Parks both overlook Charleston's Harbor, while Fort Sumter, a federal stronghold where the first shots of the Civil War rang out, lies across the water. We just left Market Street. Everybody always thinks on Market Street that it was where all the slaves were sold, but it wasn't. It's where the slaves went to buy food and stuff for their owners. Fun fact. Now we're here at Henry's Rooftop Bar. We came here when we were here this past year and we really liked it, so we decided we had some time to kill. So we're gonna sit up here and have a drink. Look the town. Comfy sounds good, but town sounds better, right? So we got our tickets to go on the ferry to go over to Sumter Fort. We, um, they leave, they have ferries that leave at 11 o'clock at this location and 2.30. We have obviously missed the 11 o'clock because it's 1 o'clock. We've got a few hours that we're going to kill, so we're just going to go have a drink and appetizer to tie us over till dinner and then head out to Fort Sumter. Nope, I'm not saying that. Yes. You say it. it. Looks like it is Bay Street Briar Garden. Briar Garden. Bay Street Briar Garden. That's what he said it is. Not, so if it's not, wrong. Not B. Not Garden. 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 G-A-R-T-E-N. Got it. That's where we're going. <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. Place. We just had a drink and some appetizers. Now we're headed back to catch the ferry. Bay Street Beer Garden. Bay Street Beer Garden, and it's like beer, but it's German. B I E R <laughs> Garden. They have like taps where you can buy a card and uh, fill up your uh, drink as you want. We just sat at the bar. All right, let's head to the fort.
So, okay, that's cool. So, we knew somebody that was here. I knew. I guess it was Ken to somebody that was here. <laughs> oh, it's cold. We're going to get inside. So, we just Ubered over here. We're going to eat at our kitchen. And, um, it opened, it said at 6 o'clock, and it opens at 6 o'clock. So we've got about 15 minutes to kill because we're always early. Because you're supposed to be early to all places, right? And then we'll figure out what our meal is. Bill is really excited about this. He's nervous. Chef Russ, this is Chef Aaron right here. Hey guys. Woo! <laughs> you got Chef Jimmy, he's your front of house. Jimmy! <laughs> the one person you will be nice to is Jimmy. He controls all the alcohol. <laughs> Hey yeah, guys, well welcome. Um, have any of y'all dined with us before? Yes, yes. we have. No. Cool. Alright, so a few yes, you know, alright. Well, for our, all our returning guests, welcome back. For everybody who's new, welcome. Um, how can you guys break down what we do every day? So with the new five course days being up on our heads. Being what we have in house, course in season, but it's really whatever the hell the chefs want to do. <laughs> so obviously you guys think we're gonna school, we have freedom on your menu. If you aren't worried about it, this is it right here. You can tell you know exactly what you're about to be getting. Guys, so what you're enjoying or what you enjoy, depending on what stage suits your are in. What you have in front of you is a roasted red pepper and cauliflower uh, soup. Yeah, All right, guys, so third course in front of us. Um, we got some beautiful quality oh shrimp in today, so I want to do something. So basically, <laughs> I cleaned them, um, then I butterflied them, then we soaked it in a kind of like a spicy romesco beet juice aioli, and then we um, double panko um, bread them, then we fried them. Over top, you guys have a multiplied lobster sauce going over top of that, then a nice little um, micro batch on the right below that. It's going to be for a little bit of like a spice kick at the end, but it doesn't linger. And then kind of like a hop and jump going on below that without the rice. So you have bacon, um, some beans, and I put, I put a little bit of leek in there with some garlic and a red pepper flake. Then below that, you have a uh, whole grain Dijon mustard Jesus. and a corn <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy.
so guys, um, last favorite course of the night for y'all. This is my favorite kind of meat ever. Ribeye. I love ribeye because it's fatty. Fatty plus flavor. Salt, heavy pepper, and um, it's also infused with a little bit of thyme and garlic. Give them a hard sear, pour it over um, the garlic thyme butter right over the top of them. Then, right, right below, you got some nice peeled jumbo asparagus to saute it up. A little bit of butter punch, white beach mushrooms, a little bit of a shallot dimmy right below that, and then you got horse and girl puree with uh, some fire roast crack pepper. Did everybody enjoy your thing tonight? Yeah. All right. So guys, we're gonna finish Jimmy. off with. Um, he'll be back in a second. Calm down. We'll save that. <laughs> All right, so basically what I've got in front of you um, is uh, my brownie. I learned how to make brownies in high school. Um, so you can figure that out. That's why I'm calling it one ingredient short. Because um, I'm getting out of the next ingredient. Right over top, buddy. You got uh, the salted creme caramel. And then you got basically like a three hour um, slow mix berry dessert. So then you got blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. And a little bit of powdered sugar over top. It's going to be a blue Toyota Corolla. Oswaldo. Oswaldo. Well, we just left our kitchen. It was a five course meal. It was amazing. It was really good. It was real good. Yeah. Totally worth it. I mean, like, if, and there were several people in there that live close to here that come back every year. No, well, not every year, but all the time to go. So, and they stay booked up. It's a six o'clock and an eight o'clock sitting of every night. And they book up about a couple of weeks in advance, so you, but there's a reservation only. And they just go to the market and buy fresh food and cook it for that day. All right, well, I think we're going to head back, go to bed, till tomorrow, which will be the next video for you because we're closing this one out. Please like and subscribe.